So I think it's time that um, we uh, continue working on um, Michael Hampton's book. Um, we got through just a little bit. And so I just thought it would be a great opportunity to start continuing uh, just slowly, just to, you know, to, um, to grasp the techniques and the, and the um, teachings that um, are presented because they are more um, contemporary, contemporary and, um, but also they um, expand what was done before. And um, it's an important book and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get into where we left off. I've been looking at the material um, for the next couple of chapters and I was um, just kind of overviewing it and um, so, I'm going to see, I mean, I might, um, might have forgotten some things, but, uh, I want to go ahead and, uh, remember what I, what I told myself. I knew that I, I picked some, a lot of stuff up. I picked a lot of stuff up that, uh, uh was really helpful and, um, it's, it has stuck with me. And, um, so, um, we went over... the gesture drawings and um, the landmarks. And now I'm just going to go over the forms and connections. And then maybe um, next time we'll talk about the head and the drawing and then we'll get into all the, uh, the anatomy and the, and the construction of that. But We'll go ahead and, and let's start look at the, the forms and connections. And um, the forms and the connections um, and how it works as far as how these steps um, can help. And here are some examples of the uh, the way it works. So we'll be taking um, spheres, boxes, and cylinders and incorporating them into the gesture drawing. Um, so we were going over the gesture drawing. Um, the symmetry the asymmetry, symmetry line, which is the most important thing. Um, repetition lines, um, wrapping lines, um, the way the, uh, the spine works and the construction of the, uh, the rib cage and the pelvis, um, the, um, the, the important triangle. I mean, I'm, I'm going over this too for myself because I haven't, I haven't picked this up in a while. Uh, the economy line, creating a story for shortening landmarks, the landmarks, the, uh, the lightning bolt, um, yeah, the handlebars, slicing, and the T, and the landmarks. And now we're into the forms and connections. And so he's saying, you know, um, these six drawings are something that you need to, or we need to um, get familiar with and sketch out because we, we're gonna apply these to um, the connecting forms of the anatomy and the, the drawing. And so it shows you right here to give you um, an idea of, of how this works. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, is just draw a couple, um, a couple of gesture drawings and then apply these, apply these um, examples to 
what we're drawing. So let's get into it. I found a really good uh, example to, to work from. So what I'm going to do is go um, into what we've learned in the previous chapters and then apply these forms and connections to this. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, set up um, size because they look like they're about the same height in the, uh, the photo. So I'm just going to set up um, just some, some marks to, uh, to give myself um, an idea of what, where I'm going with this. So, um, okay, Michael starts off with the head. Okay, I'm at our shoulders. And then we have asymmetrical lines. And then we'll go with the weight, with the weight, the weight on it. And then this leg. This way, and now we have an idea of where this this goes. So now I can draw her, and I'm I'm using that right side of the brain to understand like this outline here. So so there's this outline, and basically where that figure is going to to land okay so let's go ahead and draw the head it's too high right there okay shoulders asymmetrical line So I got my figures down. Um, okay. So now um, so I'm kind of lost already. That's okay. Um, yeah, I got the lumbar. I remember the lumbar in our wrapping lines. So we have that taken care of. So um, next, what we would do is um, we have our gesture, our gestures down, and we threw in our wrapping lines. Now. Um, Uh, the spine, so the spine, that's our spine, there you go, that, um, that arrow, that triangle of the spine, you know, the cervical, cervical, thoracic, thoracic and the lumbar, it's our lumbar, 
That's from behind. We're not going to worry about that. We have a rib cage, you know, a rib cage here. And then um, our pelvis should be there. And And then we have our about two pose, which is definitely right there. Um, and we have foreshortening going on right here. And right here. Um, and then we would have our lightning bolt, which would be where the, that would be our lightning bolt right there. And, um, and here. I don't, I don't think there is one there. And then we got our landmarks. Um, got our landmarks here, which is um, we have the pit. And then we have um, our clavicles, which um, are these handlebar shapes. The manubrium, it's uh, right here. Um, the sternum, just right here. Um, the end of the thor thoracic arc of the rib cage, should be right here. Um, the belly button. The ends of the iliac crest of the pelvis and the bottom of the pubic bone, which is right here. On the head of the humerus, which is right here. The elbow. And the knee. Right there. That's the front and then the back, um, the base of the cranial notch, which is right here, um, the spine, the sacrum, which is here, on um, the seventh cervical vertebrae. This is a very pronounced area of the bone towards the lower portion of the neck, which is here. And then um, our, our scapulas, which are like right here. Those are our scapulas. Okay, so those are landmarks. And then we, we have our volume, which would be uh, That would be our volume. Volume. And then um, the back, it's kind of flat. I'm trying to determine, all right, we'll make it like this here. This will come inward. 
and this will come outward. Okay. And then the weight distribution, um, we're talking about our T's. Our T's, which will be Will be a T, T, uh, a T, T, T. Okay, so those are like our T's. And then here are um, stretching the pinch. I don't see too much stretching and pinching here, but I guess we could do um, pinch and stretch there. Yeah. All right. So we went over landmarks. Um, all right, so now we're into the form and connections. Uh, clean this up. Okay, so um, there's um, six different very uh, six different forms and connections um, warm ups, and um, you have um, varying sizes of spheres. Um, and the accuracy of uh, ellipses. So we have ellipses here. Varying degrees. Um, form through ellipses, we have the, the pipes. Rotating uh, ellipses, so um, and then the combining the forms, um, which we taking, you know, combining forms. He's got us, uh, you know, sphere. Rectangle, and a bop, and a square. And then he's got um, um, a box falling off a ledge. And they rotate the planes um, to show a sense of fall and turn. And this comes down here. on the ledge and a sense of falling. All right. So um, um, so whenever you're describing form, a cylinder, box cylinder sphere, it's important to never use line in a way that contradicts the form. Okay, so he has examples here. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, and and use these examples for for this drawing here. And I'm just going to go ahead and lighten some of this stuff up so I can um, apply these these steps here. Okay, so here we have the form of the chest. So the chest would be a uh, center line, and then so that would be like a sphere. Like a sphere. And then this comes in. Um, and that would be that would be this right here. So so we have before we start that, let me go back and go back here. He's got he's got the um, sphere. He's got the cylinder. Got the square. And um, then what we're going to go ahead and combine these. So this would be like our, our that, uh, our, our um, ellipse. Then this would be kind of like, um, here would be bending, bending over. Um, so we're going this way and then this way. So that this is basically going like this, round and down kind of giving you that feel like it's stretching um, and then for the legs you know I don't, we haven't gone into the muscles yet but We will soon. Okay. Um, so just a so this will combine with this and then like I would think uh, and then that would combine like that. There would be a cylinder here, and that would be a cylinder there. There's a, um, um, a connection here. Um, 
So here, the knee, the knee's wrong right there. The knee should be right there. Then you have um, this muscle here flexing, going this direction and around. Um, and then we have a muscle here, kind of goes around. And then we have like a cylinder here. Um, and then we have our shoulders. So the shoulder that's connecting here. And then um, we have this muscle here. It's all connecting. Right, there's our cylinder. Draw this hand. Draw these cylinders here. We got a cylinder here. A cylinder here. Right, there's our cylinders. And then we wrap our connections. So that's a connection. That's a connection. That's a connection. That's a connection. I'm just shading it with the hand. Um, uh, and over here. We have a shoulder connection here. It's connecting, connection, connection. So it's going out like that. That's going around. And then we have a connection here, connecting to that cylinder. And then the hand going in. So this is what it making sense of this for you. I mean, I'm trying to make sense of it. Um, okay, let's do the um, female. All right. So the, the female There's a connection right there. We have our cylinder. There's a connection. Cylinder. And the connection. So there's our connections. That's our cylinder. Here's extreme foreshortening. Um, Okay, um, trying to make sense of this. Um, so here we have our um, clavicles. Um, so this would be connection here. And then this would be um, so a connection. And then we would have our um, our rectangle and then our box. that goes in like that kind of yeah but the, actually this this comes out shade that something like that um 
Uh, okay. So then um, we have our uh, gluteus maximus. So that would be um, cylinder. Um, now the back of the legs, um, so this would be our cylinder here. And then here, here this would be our connections. Um, that, that would connect in there. would be our connections. So this connects into here. Um, so, you know, um, that's the idea of it. Um, you know, and then, you know, you can go in with some shading. <clears throat> But um, here needs is it's uh, need to go with like that, yeah. You know? Got that wrong. That's okay. We're uh, we're still learning. So that's it. That's for our connections. Uh, and forms. Um, so uh, that up. Uh, yeah, um, uh, so, I mean, you can, you know, look at what he's done down here. That's what I was doing. I was going, okay, so it, it definitely helps when you look at the, uh, the examples. So, so that is forms and connections. And, you know, I've been, um, I've been wanting to, um, <clears throat> get back into this book. So it's a great um, opportunity for me to, and, um, you know, I definitely um, <clears throat> appreciate the feedback. <coughs> um, 
I definitely appreciate the feedback and uh, it helps me um, want to do more of these. Um, and I hope it helps you in the long run. I hope, you know, I'm doing this book justice, um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying working on these. So if you like what you see, uh, consider subscribing and um, we'll, we'll go to the next one, which will be heads. Um, we'll be going back into the next one, which is heads, which is, um, so thanks again and God bless.